Hello, you beautiful people. It is Tooth here, Tooth Decay. I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's coming up over the next three to six months on the channel. So we are just back from visiting Europe's Caribbean, the Canary Islands, where we visited Fuerteventura, which wasn't as windy as we thought, I've got to say, but it definitely wasn't as warm as Lanzarote. So we also went to Isla de Lobos or Lobos Island, which nearly killed us. And I got up at stupid o'clock one morning to film Sunrise from the Dunes. That was absolutely stunning, people. Absolutely stunning. Then we headed over on the ferry to Lanzarote before spending a couple of days and one night on the beautiful island of La Graciosa. It is the smallest independent Canary Island with only around 700 inhabitants, I want to say. So we did everything from the annual Sabarea food festival into Guise, where we had loads of little local delicacies. And we even watched a 240 kilo tuna get broke down. This thing was absolutely massive, people. And we went to Mirador del Rio, which is a Cesar Manrique building. It's got the most amazing acoustics inside it. I could hear myself, my own voice coming back to me in stereo. It was so weird. Um, and then we went all the way down to sampling a local McDonald's and hunting down a pint for a euro. So whatever your bag is, we've got something for you. We've got you covered, people. Now, look, we've already published our travel day vlog, including our stay at the Premier Inn at London Gatwick Airport. We've got videos lined up already to be published on cheap transfers from fur event. Why can nobody say that name? on cheap transfers from Fuerteventura Airport to Coralejo, because it's about 90 euros in a cab, people, and that ain't cheap. Um, we've got our room at the Vacanzi Urban Boutique Hotel, a review of that, and the hotel itself, that knackering visit to Lobos Island, which we still say is a must-do, um, a real high-priced tourist trap restaurant, a middle-of-the-road restaurant, and then a real backstreet restaurant with stunning tapas at a cheap price, plus all of the shenanigans from Music Square in Coralejo. And that's all due to come out before New Year. That's already queued up and waiting to go. Coming after that, we've got the beautiful beaches on Fuerteventura of El Cotillo and La Concha. How to get there for cheap, um, and including our stunning lunch there of beef cheeks. Real local delicacy in red wine sauce with padron peppers, um, uh, pimientos padron, and, and fries and slow roasted tomatoes. Um, yeah, carrieras is what they're called locally. Absolutely stunning. And then once we get over to Lanzarote, you will see our mini trip to La Graciosa. And then we ended that up on the other side of the water back on Lanzarote at Mirador del Rio. It is one of the best places to get a view of La Graciosa Island from above. But we didn't need to do that because we had the drone. So we ain't going to put loads and loads of drone footage in there. Just a little bit for you, just to give you a taste. And then we went to one of the best restaurants in Puerto del Carmen. We did that visit to the food festival. We've got a review of the apartments we stayed in, which are Luf Imar, Lucy Mar. Some people say it's up near the Lidl in Puerto del Carmen. Plus our review of the room that we stayed in on La Graciosa and a couple of the beautiful beaches there. And then in March, people... In March, me and Mrs. Tooth have decided we are heading back over and we are going to spend a whole week on the stunning little island of La Graciosa. We only scratched the surface of it and in the two days we were there. And to be honest with you, we fell in love with it so much that we've just jacked in our five-star luxury break to Sandals in Jamaica for my 50th birthday and decided to go there instead. It was that beautiful. And then to give you even more of an idea of what the restaurant, what the restaurant, what the island has to offer, we'll be doing a switch for the second week and we'll be theming it like rich holiday, poor holiday. So for week two, we're going to be staying in a suite at the Arecife Grand Hotel in Lanzarote's capital city. And we'll be going out and about doing the culture thing, having a look at some of the Cesar Manrique stuff that's around there. So look, with all of this going on, people, now is a brilliant time to subscribe to the channel. It costs nothing. And as we head through this series of videos, I'll be sharing with you details of some of the proper YouTubers out there who I watch to find out loads of information about this affordable destination that really is on our own doorstep, offering a Caribbean experience at a, free, a fraction of the cost. All right, latest potatoes, off your pop. <laughs> 